It is great to be back in Barcelona for Cisco Live. All right, for all of us engineers, this is our week. We look forward to this. This is the time where we get to talk about all the innovation that we've been working on for the last year. All of you tell me, look, the IT landscape that you're dealing with today is radically different than it was even a couple years ago. There's a couple big things going on out there. First of all, the cloud. We've talked about it. This is the major technology trend of our day. It's changing everything. The world is expanding to the cloud. And it's not a single cloud, there's multiple clouds. So from a networking and security perspective, this creates a much more complex world for us. You are building the next generation of digital experiences. Whether it's a major IoT project and what we're connecting to the network, we're building the next generation of digital experiences. The world is much more dynamic now. We have to think about the network from a, how do we automate things? How do we use analytics? How do we secure it differently? The key is, where Cisco's going, is not just evolve these independently, but how do they all come together in what we call a multi-domain architecture? We think only Cisco can build this. Why? Because we have all the pieces. From the campus, to the branch, to the data center, security service provider. We have all the pieces, and as those 25,000 engineers work every day, they're thinking about how to integrate this entire architecture together, automate it, secure it, drive analytics through it, to build a simpler environment for all of you to power your business. So this week, we're gonna take several more steps in that journey. We're gonna talk about data center innovations. What's the latest we're doing in the data center? We're gonna talk about SD-WAN and security. The WAN is one of the biggest, as, as customers adopt the cloud, as all of you adopt the cloud, you need to rethink about your WAN. And it's not just software defining the WAN, how do you think about security that's integrated into that whole architecture? And then finally, we're gonna talk about IoT. Maybe one of the most exciting parts of the networking business right now, the number of devices we're connecting to the network. And it's not just devices, it's entire industries that are changing as we bring IP technology to places we just haven't brought it before. First off, I want to tell you what we're announcing today to the world. We're announcing three things. Number one, ACI anywhere. Number two, Hyperflex anywhere. And number three, some exciting capabilities with Cloud Center Suite, our workload orchestration tool. We're going to spend several minutes looking really vividly at what we mean by ACI anywhere and what are the new capabilities. We're going to do the same thing for Hyperflex. So on Cloud Center, what I want to do is a call out to an innovation showcase session that would be entirely dedicated to what we're doing for private cloud and uh, workload orchestration. A couple of nuggets that I'll uh, tease you with. Number one, very exciting cost optimization and uh, orchestration capabilities within Cloud Center. And number two, a new SaaS delivery model, so a new consumption model for software that until now had been enjoyable on premise and now can be consumed directly via SaaS. Let's move on and let's talk about another part of the network that's undergoing incredible change, and that's the wide area network, the branch. The move to the software-defined WAN. The time is now. The time is now, if you have not started already, to start to re-architect your wide area network. Why do I say that? I don't say that because of the software innovation we've developed on SD-WAN is making it easier for you to drive that technology transition? Of course it does. I say it because the technology innovation we've developed around SD-WAN is absolutely helping you drive today digital acceleration in your business. Because we're continuing down that route of SD-WAN software innov innovation, and we're launching Cisco Secure SD-WAN. 
This is about us creating a complete integrated security stack within the software of our SD-WAN capabilities already. So within our ASRs and ISR routers, you now get embedded in them an enterprise class firewall. You get embedded within them IPS services to monitor malicious activity and to help you cut out policy violations. You have URL filtering capabilities to make sure that your users are going to the appropriate websites as required. And then many of you are building on-prem security services, but you also now want to start to build cloud-based security services on top of that. So we're making it super simple for you within our SD-WAN capabilities to integrate Cisco's umbrella management capabilities too. Now think about that because there's only one vendor, one vendor in the marketplace that can take the best of breed capabilities of on-prem security and merge them together with the cloud-based security capabilities we've got from Umbrella and deliver world-class security to you. And this matters even more as your users start to become and become in demand to be more remote over time. IoT. You know, IoT is that term that actually gets thrown around a lot. It's like a marketing person's dream. You know, you take IoT, you slap it onto anything that you want, and suddenly it's supposed to become really, really cool. So actually, I want to make a promise. I want to talk about real news. I want to talk about real technology, real products, that actually over 50,000 of our customers have deployed together today. So whether you're in energy, whether you're in healthcare, whether you're in retail, it really doesn't matter. You can increase your top line, grow your bottom line using IoT to actually address real world problems. But here's the actually bottom line of our discussion today. Because what you need, you need that robust foundation of a secure and reliable network. It's simple. Your network is the enabler of your business outcomes. And that's why Cisco's in it. So let's talk about what we're going to launch today, how we're bringing intent-based networking to the IoT edge. There are four chapters to this launch. First, we're bringing three new CBDs, Cisco validated designs for manufacturing, for utilities, and for managing things like remote mobile and mobile assets. The second thing that we're announcing is two new hardware platforms. Now, these are built for modularity and flexibility of deployment. The first one is actually a next generation catalyst industrial ethernet switch. This, if you look at it, actually has modularity of interfaces. You can get power of ethernet, you can get data, you can get fiber, all on this. And it has nine expansion modules that have actually gone right here. We're also announcing our next generation industrial router. This has flexibility of interfaces. You have LTE, you have fiber, you have copper as well. You want dual LTE? It's an expansion module that goes right to the side. Now, they both run iOS XE, so you get all of those features of automation and analytics, and they have programmable interfaces. It's an incredible time in the networking business, and Cisco is really committed to redefining how we build networks. And the kind of networks we can build today are very different than even just a couple of years ago. So you saw all the new things we launched today. We are thinking about how this impacts the entire networking uh, portfolio, and we are building this intent-based multi-domain architecture that sits at the intersection of users, devices, applications, and data. Have a great week. Thank you.